Many car buyers in China have fallen in love with new energy vehicles, or more specifically, with lithium-ion battery electric vehicles. But there's another new energy source coming down the road for larger commercial vehicles, mostly heavy trucks. Hydrogen energy. By reacting with oxygen in the air, the fuel cell generates nothing but water and heat, and the electricity to run the engine. An 18-ton battery-powered truck can carry a load of 8.9 tons for 480 kilometers. But with a hydrogen fuel cell system, that capacity goes up to 9.6 tons. To get the hydrogen trucks off the test tracks and onto the roads, developers are working at top gear. First, we're working to make a single fuel cell stack's power as large as possible to meet the demand for medium and heavy trucks. And second, we want to enlarge the power density so that the component will be small enough to fit into different vehicles. And we're trying to lower the hydrogen consumption. Shanghai Hydrogen Propulsion Technology now produces hydrogen fuel cell systems for more than 20 car models. Its newest system can generate peak power of 120 kilowatts, almost double what was possible five years ago, and it's now working on a new system, hoping to bring the peak power to 200 kilowatts. To lure more car manufacturers to adopt the new technology, the company has been working to lower the costs by developing key components domestically. BOP engine now is already. The balance of plant component is now fully made in China, with its performance almost the same as those produced outside of the country, so it's more cost efficient. But one of the components in the power stack is now made of imported materials, so we're now working with our suppliers to produce those on our own. The primary performance has already met requirements, and if it meets our endurance test, we'll be able to have it in our stacks as soon as next year. The company has been able to lower its system price by around 60 percent during the past three years, but the experts point out that hydrogen power still has a long road to travel. Hydrogen fuel cells are rarely used in other fields, so there is as yet no mature ecosystem for them. By comparison, lithium-ion batteries are not only used in electric vehicles, but in electronic products as well. So once there is a technical breakthrough in lithium-ion batteries, many areas other than just electric vehicles can benefit from it and accelerate their tech development together. Huang points out that while there are almost 120,000 gas stations in China, and battery-powered vehicles now have 860,000 charging piles available to them nationwide, the country now has fewer than 100 commercial hydrogen refueling stations. That's why current planning for hydrogen vehicles is pretty much confined to commercial trucks, which usually have fixed travel routes and distances. Still, those plans are developing quickly. Since hydrogen energy has been listed as one of China's long-range objectives for the year 2035, and listed as one of the national six future industries this year, it has received unprecedented attention. According to the Hydrogen Industrial Technology Innovation Alliance of China, the country's hydrogen energy industry output value will reach one trillion yuan by 2025. More than 10 provinces and cities have released plans for the development of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. The latest is China's capital city Beijing, which last week announced the target of having 3,000 hydrogen vehicles on the road and building 37 hydrogen fueling stations by the end of 2023. Shanghai is planning more than 70 hydrogen stations covering its five newly planned satellite cities. And Hongqiao and Pudong airports by 2025. That Shanghai-based hydrogen energy developer expects this new policy will bring in orders over the next three or four months. That will be double last year's figure. Zhang Shixuan, Money Talks.